So for those of y'all who don't know, this is probably gonna end up being a YouTube video. Um, but for those of y'all who don't know, so me and Joe for months now, we've been talking about buying scuff controllers. We're playing more professionally, playing more consistently, playing in more tournaments, more arena, things like that. And we wanna really take our, our gaming to the next level. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna buy scuffs. And since we're doing this live on Twitch and YouTube right now, those of y'all who are watching this live, y'all y'all will be able to give us some input on, you know, on some different things. So the one that I've been looking at, uh, let's just make sure Pornhub doesn't pop up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I've been looking at Hex Gaming controllers for a while. Um, this is one of the ones that I'm thinking about. Uh, let me see, we can, I can also go to, Scuff is just, they're so fucking expensive. But I mean, there, any controller you buy at this range is gonna be pricey. It's um, gonna be worth it though, I'll tell you that. I almost just wanna go ahead and just fucking go for the Scuff, bro. Not even customize it? No, I'm customizing it. What the fuck are you talking about? You think I'm gonna pay all this money and not customize some shit? I'm, I'm fucking that's, that's customizing. I am 110 trillion percent customizing my shit. Okay, there's, hey, they have a Fortnite guide, bro. Learn how to get better at Fortnite with Scuff. From the game bases to advanced settings and techniques, make sure to check out how pro Fortnite players obtain a victory with Scuff. It all gives you the setups for, uh... Oh, that's kind of dope, actually. See, see this color right here? I like that. I want to control it. The Iron Man colors? This shit right here looks clean as hell to me. Infinity 4PS Pro, that's another... Yeah, that's, that's, that's... I think that's the one, the Infinity. The, that one, I like that. That one's more... I mean, it's a little different, but it looks more like a normal PlayStation 4 controller, you know? How many paddles are you putting on yours? I'm putting four. Cause it's yeah. always good to have like extra ones. Like you just never know. I honestly think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the infinity, honestly. Here's the only thing that concerns me about scuff controllers if I'm being totally honest. The paddles breaking. Okay, so these are all the colors that we can choose from. Oh, we want, di we want digital tap triggers all the way. We don't want default yeah. triggers. It, ha it has to be I was, digital I tap. Research. What is this? What is, is this a fucking keychain? What is that? What is this? Um, this one? I'm kind of yeah. digging this. This is kind of lit right here. Oh, the void is lit. That, I, I kind of yeah, like that nice. one too. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Uh, this is, this is, see, this is the ugly shit Colazo has. Those the, yeah, Colazo's like, I like Earth. I'm oh, like, oh, I'm an Earthbender. <laughs> Tough. Look, okay, Gary, bro. And I'm like, oh. Imagine. Yeah, <laughs> but see, but here's the thing. How come this, how come this controller only has two paddles? That's what I'm trying to figure out. This controller only has two paddles. It must. That's not what we want. That's that's why you have to. That's why you have to get an impact because the impact has four. Uh... Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me go over here. Let's go over to Hex Gaming for a hot second. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm looking uh I'm looking at your screen right now. Okay. They don't have the paddles exactly, but they've got like these these buttons here. Like, I just don't know if this is gonna be more comfortable than the paddle. At least with the paddles, like they'll come down like right here. And so my fingers will already be set to kind of hit them. But up here, I'm going to have to kind of either hit hit them like this, chat. I feel like those are not as comfortable. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's that's a bit more awkward, it seems like. Oh, I built a whole hex controller at one point and almost bought it. But I was just like, nah. Like even the claws have talked about like the paddles, why the paddles are better than those because like you can work with two other paddles on each side. Right. So. That's a fair point. Okay, you know what? Fuck this, we're going. <laughs> okay, so that explains why the impact is 10 bucks more because it has two extra paddles. Let's customize. Is this more, Joe, is this what the PS5 controller is? Because it looks more like an nah, Xbox. That That's not. It's like an Xbox and a PlayStation controller had a baby. What the fuck is this, bro? You might what? need to search that up. What is it? You can you can search that up. What, what's an EMR on a scuff controller? Electromagnetic remapping is a technology scuff created to allow a gamer to reprogram the back paddles to most face buttons with the use of an EMR key, including with included with the purchase of EMR. EMR is an optional technology that must be selected during checkout to make your paddles repro. Oh. All right guys, today we're gonna to be showing you how to use our electromagnetic remapping technology. The first thing you wanna do is place the EMR tool on the back of your scuff impact. Next, hold down your desired paddle and then choose a face button. This includes left and right oh, on the directional shit. pad, L3 and R3 on your thumbsticks. So holding down the desired paddle on the back, hold down the button and then let go of the button and then let go of the paddle. I see. controller has been remapped. We need that. Anyway, trigger systems. Okay, let's go to default trigger control. 
digital tap triggers that you have to have digital tap triggers that's not even a question i am already up to 214 dollars let's see how expensive we can make this chat i think but, it's worth buying the digital tap that's, but, that's what I mean. well yeah because we, we can shoot people faster we definitely need that Fuck, digital tap bumpers are different you need those too fucking hell yeah I, I think I want mine concave. I don't think I want to. What is it? I think um, they got short and they've got long. What do we want? Do we want short or do we want long ones? You might need to search that up. What are these fucking 15 minute video? Holy shit, bro. Can someone just give me a fucking clear cut answer on that? Oh, and bro. Shorter sticks being far quicker than your tall ones. However, short sticks are not as accurate. Tall sticks are far more accurate but they are not as fast as the short stick. Oh. And in my opinion, tall sticks are a much more superior way to uh, to go because the efficiency or the speed difference between these two types of thumbsticks is not drastic enough for me to really recommend short sticks over tall sticks because tall sticks are infinitely more accurate than short ones. Well, it's been decided, chat. We're doing, we're doing long dick sticks. What color can I get? There's six different colors? Hmm. I'm not too sold on this color yet. Basically, the longer thumbsticks are more accurate, but the shorter ones are faster. But what this guy was saying is that the speed difference that you get between a long and a short thumbstick isn't enough to justify sacrificing your accuracy for. Control discs. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, wow. No. I do not want that. No. If I, I am not playing Dragon Ball Fighters with that shit. <laughs> there is no way. Button kit? Okay, Nessie. Now, oh, now we're talking here. But see, the problem is I can't get gold thumbsticks. I think I'm going to change the color of my controller. Hold on. Do we want grips? Ooh, these high performance ones look comfy. I will uh, put it up to 256. Fuck. I'll keep it on for now. Rumbles? I'll keep them in if it's default. I'm not gonna take them out for and pay extra to have less, no. Like, okay. I mean, you can turn vibration off anyway. Yeah, the vibra- uh, yeah, exactly. Why am I gonna pay you to take it out when I can just turn it off? And it's already off in most of my games anyway. I think that's everything, bro. Yes, yeah, that's, that's everything. Let me go back and change the color though, because I don't- I'm not feeling this as much because I don't like- I don't like my options for the, the thumbsticks. It's so- it's so shiny too as well, bro. Carbon fiber is pretty lit, and that is the one I was gonna go with. Tesla one on the top left. Tesla. Uh, ooh. Oh, shit. That looks fresh as fuck. Yo. <laughs> That's some Clint shit right there. Hold on a minute. All the fucking gears and shit. That might be, that might be the one, bro. I'm sorry. That's hard. That goes, ooh, that one's clean. It does, but you gotta, you gotta keep looking at the quantum. Test that out real quick. I saw that that one's kind of like the matrix i kind of saw that bro like it's cool and all but like bro this here though that, that's sick too that's dog i'm kind of go. i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling that honestly for right now between us i'm saying moon for you tesla for me uh, yeah i i think the anodized silver is gonna be the best i just like that light gray and the light gray because you've already got the silver here i think the light gray the silver works i think this might be my controller right here bro you want to see Joe's build? I might, I might just go ahead and cop this player's pack and add that on. Imagine watching me spend money on stream like this. Joe, they have a, a pro player pack with like a case and everything. It's like actually 29 bucks, but I think it's totally worth it. Yeah, it's a USB, so you can like we can direct oh, connect. Way cheaper, cause like... Yeah, because the cord by itself is normally like 10, 15 bucks. Let's go look at Joe's. That actually oh, looks pretty nice. It's actually not bad because it it does make the it does make the the joystick stand out a little bit. Ooh, what if you did the black rims and then the gray joystick? Light gray right there. There you go. I think you should stick with the white. But like, but what if though? The only problem. What about the rims? That's the only question. Do you want to keep the rims black? Because that does not look bad. I think that's pretty solid, Joe. I like it. I, I like it too. The white it kind of goes with the. It goes with the moon. The silver. It pops. Yeah. Wait, th those are the things that you yeah. put on? Yeah, so you can basically on these controllers, the, the joysticks are swappable. So we can take the other ones out and put the shorter ones on if we want like the left joystick to be. That's why I bought this. Because if we're we don't- able to it, take joysticks out? Yes. That's what these are designed to do. So they use a little key, you twist it and you you take the joystick out and you swap it out with the other one. I'm just doing the basic shipping on mine. So if we both order these now, they should get here at the same time. We're not going to get them until ne till next month, bro. It's, it's done. Me and Joe have scuff controllers. They're on the way. Y'all got to watch us here live. 
or if you're watching this on YouTube, you got to watch us create our own scuff controllers. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Make sure to like the video. Mr. Pizza Rolls just dropped a follow. What's up, bro? <laughs> In the middle of the YouTube, YouTube outro. Wow. All right. Like the video. Make sure to share this with a friend. If this was educational for any for you guys, if you're at home trying to check out a scuff, you guys have seen me and Joe's process of buying it. I hope this that this might have helped you guys out a little bit. And finally, stay tuned for next month when we actually get the scuffs in and we actually start playing around with them. You guys will get to see how this turns out for us and how much our game improves. So looking forward to that. Until then, we love you guys and we'll catch you in the next one.